Scott Fraser here with TBS TV again at the Airbrush Action Getaway in beautiful Las Vegas. And I have another new friend, and actually I've known you a long time. You are Ed Davis. Eddie, is, is it Eddie or Ed? Eddie Davis. Eddie Davis. Yes, sir. When I played in rock and roll bands in high school, our guitar player was Eddie Davis. So, see, when you told me that, I thought, well, I've known this guy forever. Oh, and, yeah. of course, we made you change your shirt, but you had a Marshall Amp shirt on. Yeah, I did, you were, absolutely. You were rocking out, but Cliff yeah. said, no, change the shirt for the shot. Well, you know, we you gotta know. get the airbrush action thing going. Now, you're uh, Hawaiian, Filipino. Uh, I'm a Heinz 57. I'm a mix of all service kinds brat. of stuff. Yeah, service Air brat. Force brat. Lived Absolutely. everywhere. I, yeah. So you and I, we, we know each other. We've been out partying and drinking and playing the craps tables. And, I'm not uh, swearing to anything, but yeah. <laughs> don't tell anybody. All right, okay. yeah. Is my wife watching this at all? I don't, I don't know. Now, rumor has it that you're a great artist. Well, it's a in rumor. Your, is that Remember. in your own mind or is that in the... They keep telling me that. Do they really? They do. Yeah. They do. Okay. Uh, but I try to be as humble about it as I can be. Well, yeah, I mean, you're a very, very humble guy. Yeah, you know, I'm just doing what I've... I've always sat in class and drew all day. I mean, it just followed it where <laughs> it took me. You were the guy. Yeah, that Eddie, was me. Eddie, Bueller, Bueller. Bueller. So, yeah. And you're back there, a little smoke going around the, the, the desk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, paint. yeah, burning clutch. Now, you're, you're teaching here. I'm an instructor for the master class. We go through the introductory thing. We go through all of the all your basic staple foundation strokes that you're going to need to know to do that kind of stuff. Right. Okay. And, and, it, and this is one of your pieces here. This is one of my pieces. I right. did that uh, last year, late took last year. Took you a couple year. hours. So it took me probably about 16 hours is altogether. That what it was? Okay. Yeah. I okay. mean, but I drug the thing around for a month picking at it. And what's the reference? I mean, where did this come from? Uh, that was just a sketch that I did, and I, I have an article in the September October issue of Airbrush Action okay. where I describe my method. But basically. I always drew with a pencil or pen and ink, and I would just start with a basic sketch, and when I got it to where I liked it, I would just sort of flesh it out with the airbrush, because it, it's easier than, than, than shading with a pencil. Yeah. Now, not knowing anything about it, did you project onto the shirt and then... Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Right. Used an opaque projector. After right. I got my picture to where I liked it, then I used the opaque right. projector to okay. transfer the image. Now, where's the art skill come from? From your father, your mother? Uh, I'd have to credit my dad with that. Okay. Absolutely. My dad got me interested in art at a very, very young age, and he, he saw that it was a, a means of expression for me, okay. to be able to get some you know things out that I wasn't really eloquent when I was younger, I had a stutter. So, I mean, it, the artwork really helped me. And are you computer, you're, you're computer literate? You work oh, yeah. in Photoshop or in Illustrator? I work in photo, I'm using CS2 right now. Okay. I know there's later versions of that uh, stuff out you know, there, but I, I'm happy with I it. I used CS2 earlier in one of my seminars. You know, yeah. it's just Photoshop. Yeah, you know. Photoshop, I yeah. use Sign Lab, um, you know, the usual things that we I use. I use Sign Lab to cut vinyl so you can then, as a, as a stencil or as a mask? Absolutely, I use Sign Lab to take like either raw images like this or the basis sketches and I'll transfer it and turn it into a vector to where it's you know, editable, you can use it, a plotter for it, or right. laser cutter, or whatever have you, but. So you plot it and weed it and Absolutely, it and or I plot it on, um, on very thin, like 05 Mylar material that I use for stencils, because at work, we, we have a pretty high volume t-shirt shop going, so, you know, we'll, we'll burn out like five or six copies of this, because we know we're gonna go through it real quick. They're disposable, right, and it's yeah. always the same. It's always yeah. a static image, because it's all vectorized. Yeah. yeah. Now, is a lot of your work on shirts, or is it on other things? Primarily on shirts. I do automotive stuff. Uh, I was asked to go to SEMA last year with House of Color. Um, so, I mean, I'm all over the place, but T-shirts are my, are my stomping ground. That's and where, where do I'm you do the shirts at? I work for a company called Big Airbrush in Panama City Beach, Florida, spring break capital of the world. And this is a retail uh, souvenir uh, place? It, 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 it's a souvenir place, but it, we have a symbiotic relationship with Walmart. We have a giant airbrush booth in Walmart. Well, now what do you mean by that? In the actual store? In the actual store. I don't think we have those in Arizona. I mean, it's we have Walmart, cool. but not in the store. It's pretty cool. You have your own little kiosk in the back? Oh, yeah, it's, it's up front, and it's big. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's big. And how many guys are painting? Eight guys painting. We have some like 4,000 just t-shirt designs, plus helmets, and so on and so forth. But do they pick a design like this and say, I want that? Or do they bring a no, picture of a no. dog? Something and... like this would be way too expensive yeah. for the average consumer. A lot of what you get down there are vacationers and vacationing families and boyfriends and girlfriends and newlyweds and so on, things like that. So like double hearts and names and Panama City Beach 2000. Is there, is there a book they pick from it? And, uh... Yeah, there's a book they pick from and the actual walls are just lined with the same designs. And you paint all day long? All day long. You wear a mask? Uh, we have probably one of the most cutting edge ventilation systems. Right. So we don't really actually wear a mask, but you know. But you're okay with that then? I'm okay with it. Yeah. I mean, I don't recommend anybody else to go out there and breathe this stuff, but if you know you have proper ventilation, you should be fine. You really should. Now, during, during spring break, it must be really difficult working there. It is. <laughs> it, it's, it's, not, it's not so much difficult, it's just it's a constant grind, but it's, it's, it's a good, upbeat kind of thing where you can go to work and just put your head down and 
get the tunes rolling and just bang it out because you've got staff behind you supporting you, getting you the shirts, getting you the stencils, so on and so forth. Oh, they do that? Oh, yeah. Oh, you just stand in one place. And... Oh, yeah. Just here, don't move. I just stand in just one pay. place and just balance between two shirts and knock it out all day long. And do they give you tips? Oh, yeah, we get tips. We, we, we do pretty well. Do you really? Yeah. See, I had no idea. We have met and we've talked a little bit before. Yeah. I had no idea you did this kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. you told me you've been to uh, Boise and uh, yeah. Podunk yeah. And, uh, yeah, and, yeah. Amsterdam Denver, and, and Amsterdam and then Amsterdam. And then Amsterdam and then... Geilenkirchen, Germany and uh, Switzerland and I spent some time in the Netherlands. Yeah. Well traveled. England. Well, yeah. Well traveled. Oh, yeah. Not only from just the military, but art has taken me everywhere. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. It's been a pleasure to meet you, by the way. You too, my, brother. My new friend. All right, Scott. Eddie Davis. I'm at the Airbrush Action Getaway in the beautiful Rio Hotel. I'll see you at the craps table later on. Yes, sir. All right, man. Thank All right. you. Thank you.